Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. My name is Nicole Deer. On this channel, I talk about introspection, spirituality, psychology, relationships. I sometimes do a haircut and today I'm gonna to add gardening videos to my repertoire. Oh, <laughs> I'm an avid gardener and I'm also an avid watcher of garden videos on YouTube. So it's for this community that I'm hollering at, but also I didn't used to be a gardener. And so um, actually these sorts of videos were what ushered me in and made me feel like I too could do it. So today I would love to add my first vegetable garden winter crop into the mix and talk about how I set it up, going from total amateur to being lucky enough to have delicious veggies growing pretty effortlessly in my garden. And if there's one message I want you to take home today, it is, I think we all think gardening is a lot harder than it is. You just, you're there to support mother nature and she does it all. You're there at the right moments, but really it's just life reproducing and going on. So it's a very natural and easy thing in terms of our participation. When my partner and I moved to New Zealand, part of what we were looking forward to was being able to have more than our apartment window in Berlin to grow veggies in. I'd only gotten into growing some herbs and tomatoes, chilies, when I lived in apartments. They were haphazard little tries that always rendered better results than I thought that they would. And then the joy of eating something that you have grown, it's crazy. It is really surprisingly pleasurable. And I think after Corona last year and the crisis, <laughs> after lockdown of being stuck indoors, yeah, Corona gave me a lot of perspective about what matters to me. And so the idea of this garden was just a dream for me to look forward to and to work towards creating, which is what I set about doing after we found a place. It is winter here in New Zealand at the moment. So it's actually, it was maybe what you would call the worst time to, or almost the worst time to start a garden being in autumn. But because I'm an amateur, I wanted to have some practice before getting to the summer crop. So going in and setting up a winter crop was really a great starting place. We bought pre-cut wood for raised beds, but you could either not use a frame, you don't even need to use one of those, or make your own, but we bought them just to eliminate an extra thing to have to figure out. We also bought compost, veggie mix, and sheep pellets. And then you put the compost down the bottom where it won't touch any of the roots because it's too hot. So you wanna put that as the base layer with your sheep pellets mixed in, and then on top put a veggie mix. In order to help our plants grow, we decided to start them in little containers. They were in these containers for between two and four weeks, at which point we then transplanted them outside into the newly created beds. Starting the garden was a joint effort by my partner and I. And to begin with, I approached things a little more cautiously than my partner did. And, but I really liked his approach, which was to get in there, make mistakes and be able to learn from them without that hesitation. So I'm really glad that we ended up taking that route. And if I could give some advice to you, just get in there and make the mistakes because that's how you'll learn. That goes for all of life. Yes, certainly. Sometimes I think, oh, I should just be... And then that's time wasting. It's draining yourself of energy. And um, in the end, you don't even know if that is really needed. 
end for this case it wasn't needed. Nature has your back. These plants want to grow, they want to live, and they will do the work to survive. You just have to do enough. We planted those plants in two raised beds. And for those raised beds, we dug up the dirt, dug down maybe like a forearm length, and then replaced it. So actually we used a lot of compost, a lot of veggie mix, it was very expensive. And I don't think it was worth it. The third bed that we did, I experimented with the no dig method. I think Charles Dowding is the main proponent of the no dig method. But the general premise is that the soil is the most important factor for you getting healthy plants. If your plant isn't strong enough because it doesn't have enough rich nutrient soil, then your plants will be in danger. If you have healthy soil, there are less pests, funguses, and anything that's going to be harmful to your plant. So yeah, let me talk you through the garden. If you'll come along. So first up we have the beans. And as you can see, they are basically ready to be harvested, which is so exciting because we haven't tried any of these yet. For the other veggies, we have been picking some as we've gone. Here's my little dog. Next up, we have um, our cabbages, which, I mean, there's still some progress to go, but they're growing. At the back here, we have silver beet, and it has been wonderful in salads and on sandwiches. We've just been eating it daily, and so that's why it looks like uh, a rabbit maybe has been chewing at it. We don't have any rabbits, it's just us harvesting as we go. Then over here we've got onions, they've still got a bit to grow, and leeks, um, but they're growing well, the same with celery. And um, our carrots are, I think, almost ready to harvest, and they're suddenly hogging a lot of the room here. Um, and then next to them are the radishes, which have been a joy. The radishes have been delicious and what we've been doing is actually um, cho chopping off the top of them and then sticking them back in the ground and then they've been growing again. So we've been getting double our radish worth. Um, and then over here we've got spinach leaves and they're looking very sad at the moment but they were thriving and they were so delicious. So maybe they've just had their time. The beetroots next to them are looking quite sad too. Uh, but I don't know, we'll just see how that goes. <laughs> Maybe they don't like where they're placed, but we'll see. Um, over here we've got pumpkins. They're growing, I mean, the stalks so far. Nothing else has grown. Pak choy and lettuce leaves, which they're really ready for us to harvest, so we'll have to get in there later. And then we've got brocco flower here. I've never tried it myself, but we will and more carrots, more radishes, hollyhocks, which are beautiful flowers, and I hope that they grow, but we'll see. And some more beetroots, that's it. Yeah, thanks so much for stopping by. My garden is um, going well so far. There's still room for improvement. And in summer, we will add another um, raised bed. So we'll have even more going on, but it's a good start. Thank <laughs> you.